I've been asked a lot of questions over the last couple of years from magicians and one of the things that I've heard the most uh, from amateur magicians and younger magicians is you know, they ask me how do I deal with having small hands? My hands are too small to do the pass or too small to palm a card. I've even taught a, a couple of magic classes where I've had four or five kids you know raise their hand and, and you know bring this up. Every time I hear that I have the magician, whoever it is asking me, hold up their hand and I put my hand up to theirs. Nine times out of ten, they have the same size hand I do, or bigger. Uh, Dan and Dave Buck, arguably two of the world's greatest card flourishers, they don't have overly large hands. Lee Asher and Aaron Fisher, they don't have terribly large hands. In fact, Lee on his website, leeasher.com, used to have a graphic. He actually, uh, I think he photocopied his hand or took a picture of it and put it up so you could actually compare. Uh, his hands are just normal, average sized hands. You don't have to have large hands to do sleight of hand or to, to palm cards. In fact, one of the world's greatest sleight of hand artists, one of the world's greatest showmen, Rene Levand, only has one hand. Uh, it's more of a dexterity thing. Uh, it takes a while to build up the muscle memory necessary and to really get your fingers flexible enough to pull off some of these moves, but a lot of magicians hold themselves back by excusing it and saying that, well, my hands just aren't large enough, so you know, why try? Why practice? I have small hands. Don't make excuses for failure. Do not let yourself justify mediocrity. Demand excellence and you can accomplish amazing things. I want to leave you right now with a video that was recently put up uh, with Michael Jordan. It's one of the most inspirational videos I've seen in a while. And the theme of this video, you can apply not just to basketball, not just to, to magic, but to life in general. So take a look, and I'll see you soon. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I led you to believe it was easy when it wasn't. Maybe I made you think my highlights started at the free throw line and not in the gym. Maybe I made you think that every shot I took was a game winner. That my game was built on flash and not fire. Maybe it's my fault that you didn't see that failure gave me strength, that my pain was my motivation. Maybe I led you to believe that basketball was a God-given gift and not something I worked for every single day of my life. Maybe I destroyed the game. Or maybe you just making excuses.